The circular economy tackles the root causes of global problems such as climate change. In fact, it enables the economy to become part of the solution rather than the problem. If we look at today's economy, it's predominantly take, make, waste. We take something out of the ground, we make something out of it, and then at the end of its life, we throw the majority away. It's a linear economy, it's constrained by its resources, and it creates very brittle supply chains, particularly as we've seen through the global pandemic. Within a circular economy, from the outset, the economy is redesigned. Products and materials are kept at the highest value and utility. We design out waste completely and natural systems are regenerated. It's a much more resilient economy. If we look at the challenges around climate change, around 55% of CO2 emissions can be solved by switching completely to renewables. But the 45% that remain cannot be solved in that way. If we look at circular principles and apply those three principles to materials such as steel, cement, plastic, food and aluminium, we find that of that 45% that remains, around half can be saved. That's the equivalent of taking all global transport off the road and out of the air. So circular economy plays a really key role in solving many of the problems around climate change. But what it also does is it builds a more resilient economy. It solves some of the problems around brittle supply chains because we're less dependent on those raw materials brought across the earth to make those products. It's resilient, it's regenerative, and it really can work in the future, predominantly because it's driven by economics.